This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. All right, we're here to see Kate. Come on, Marsh, how you doing? Oh, you're dressed in your pajamas. I guess that makes sense, sort of. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. Oh, you you should really work on I that. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. I'm just gray blotches. I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. Well, I was they how many didn't do anything. That's part me. of the problem. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Let's see, we've got a penis, a fork, a bucket. I don't even know what that thing is supposed to be. It's got like fins. Is it a whale? Is it a contorted dying whale? Alright. We got someone with a crab face. Oh, and there's a porpoise on the bottom. All right, well, you can understand most of it anyways. How are you looking? That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Yeah. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Um. How you doing? I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Oh, my. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so... <laughs> We'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Alright, and what about Nathan? 
I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Ooh. Alright, well, he's still part of the Vortex Club. Which seems weird since he was kicked out of school. And I thought the Vortex Club was like a school club. But maybe it's not really a school club. Hard to tell. Prescott family? Sure. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. Ooh, okay. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Alright. Kate, I didn't know you were actually going to be useful. Giving us the dirt on Nathan. Sounds good to me. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Huh. You know, it looks a lot better from up close. Here? There be... A, a penguin? Girl? Child? The... Duck and adult. All right, all right, I see it. Um, fox, baby, Chewbacca with an eye patch. Somebody's missing their banana. All right, let's uh, leave this bored cat alone. There's a book. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Book report for school. What? Only one chair is good enough for us. Hmm, okay. Let's look at the postcards. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Come on, would you want Nathan to sign? No. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Hmm, the verdict's still out on that. Dearest Kate, I know you hate me, and you should. But I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. XO Vic. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't trust Vic. Not at all. She's manipulative, mean, and not very Principal smart. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery, and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care, even if we never show it and shun you and basically make you feel like shit. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask, unless you are in a wheelchair or otherwise disabled, in which case you are not welcome at our school. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Nah, I don't really like the principal either. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Did they? Did they really? Because I thought they were brothers. Turns out they were sisters. Yeah. Um, really, is that it? I guess... Oh, balloons, there we go. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Uh, it seems fine to me. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Yeah, seems like a crutch to me. Kate, you gotta move on. Be your own person. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Oh, I guess uh, Kate kept the best flowers for herself. Hey, Kate. Back again. Which makes me happy. I, I didn't leave. Oh, yeah. 
I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, a viatch? Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and... We had a genuine moment. We all have our a, a fleeting moment. Why do you think she acts so mean? Oh, it's because she's a bitch, but also she's insecure. Uh, and those two things combined, uh, with the third option, which is, uh, she's rich and has no concept of other people. Uh, I guess that's four things. Yeah. Alright. Many of the she's reasons. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Alright, All right. we already know about Alice. Alright, I think we're done in here. Let's get back to the mission. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Dun, dun, that little dun. prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. He's probably going to shoot us, to be honest. He does have a gun. He shot you before, Chloe. It isn't a happy summer's day at the academy. Somebody's got a sweet drone they're flying around. That's kind of weird. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. Haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right, well, that was kind of weird. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Do you know where Nathan is? Hey, buddy. What's your name? Zach, do you know where Nathan is? Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Ooh. You flying your... Uh... There it is. You got your drone flying about. Sorry, what did you say about me and Warren? Excuse me. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. 
By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Um, whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. He asked you? <sighs> oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. Tell me about your drone. It's pretty sweet. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. What a bitch. Talk to you later, Max. Or not. Jeez. I'm jealous. I wanted to fly your drone. Oh well. I guess That's she's so mad. She likes Warren. Her. How is it ironic? What is ironic about that? Brooke, do you know what words mean? Alright. You know what? You can keep your drone. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Birds are going nuts over there like usual. Samuel sounds like a creep like usual. But, I mean, they're thinking about serious things. Can we talk to them? That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. I've been watching yes, you. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Uh, let's just ask about the animals since you're really focused on them. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you know about the beached whales? How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You really? think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. Uh -oh. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Oh, that's... that's creepy. I uh, know, please, please don't, Samuel. Please do not come to me if you have any questions. Uh, talk to... talk to Miss Grant. She seems to care. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. That's cute. Did we not get to ask about the dead birds, though? Oh. Get that food in your belly. <laughs> How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Oh. Nice. Stumbled on that one. Ah, 
Aw, they're cute. <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal language. Alright, dead Sorry birds. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Animals. I definitely have questions about... Oh. Dead birds. There we go. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. The Tabanga? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, Samuel, you never cease to creep me out. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Good to see you out and about, Max. Thanks. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Yeah. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Uh-huh. Let's talk about Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Ah, uh, no, I, but Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Oh, we're thinking the same thing. I don't thing. mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Hell yeah. Let's talk about Principal Wells. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Hope for a cynical future. All right. Tell me about Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. Ooh. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... You might be the wisest. Ouch. Alright. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Oh, accessibility upgrades. Close. October 18th, October 25th. Alyssa, why you play hard to get when you already hard to want? <gasps> the memes are real. Poor Alyssa. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Oh, oh, I see. Well, now I feel bad for ad-libbing onto Principal Wells' letter. He does care. He's upgrading the school so that those with uh, wheelchairs and other uh, disabilities can actually come to school. Broken window? That's what I get for helping Alyssa. Oh, right. A broken window. Hey, where is Alyssa anyways? She's not around? No? No Alyssa? Cool kickflips. Hey, kickflip dude. It's been so long since hey, I've seen you. hey, kickflip dude. Talk to me. Oh, never mind. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Let's hug hey, it out. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. 
are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Hmm. How did you figure out that your photos suck? Is it because they do or because someone told you they do? Uh, yeah, if your photos suck, then just take different photos. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense. But not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Oh, um... Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Hola, Max. I just figured out that... Oh, draw your photos. Daniel. Your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Okay, that sounds stupid. Lens pen. Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Uh, how about that end of the world party? Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here... Push me in the lockers, not dance floors. Ah, oh, go to the party. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Alright, cool. I'll see you at the party. What do you know about Kate? Have you gone to visit her? Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Alright, and Nathan? Can you corroborate what we've heard? Have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. It's no rumor. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Hmm. Alright. Everybody says that he's not on campus, so I guess it's time for us to go. Apparently, Brooke admires us. She's just pissed off that we're going to go on a date with Warren, because she likes Warren, too. Hey, jerk face. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Yeah, ba back off. Back off, Justin. Alright. Time to go, Chloe. Whoa, I disappeared. Oh, there we go. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. 